Hey there you, ah, welcome back to another spiritual oracle card reading. My name is Brian Nestlein. I'm going to read these cards for you in this moment in time. Look, start by setting the intention that the reading is for you because everything that we are experiencing, we are seeing through our own eyes and our own emotions and our own memories. Everything that we are up to this moment in time is what we are viewing the world and the information as. So this reading is personal to you because it, it's a relationship between you and the reading, between what you are, who you are, what you know, everything you've been through, which is different than everyone else. That's why everyone can watch this reading and receive something different because it's going to play off of who they are in the moment. Now look, remember, nothing happens by mistake. It's all divine timing. So just accept that and let's move forward. Now the first card that comes out is the gossip card. Ooh, someone's talking about you. That sucks. Aw. Now you know that that's true in general, that other people are. But the card is really a beautiful one. I'll show you why. It's showing you as the green heart chakra in the center here. And that means that that's the spiritual part of our makeup. So it's showing that this is really the best part of ourself. So people are trying to understand, you can see by the looks on their face, they're trying to understand and talk about the best part of who you are. They are making sense of the beautiful things that you do, of the higher ideas that you bring, and of the actions, the activities, the skills and abilities that you are expressing on a day-to-day -day basis. And this is good news. It also shows you leaving your house back here, coming out into the field, out into the fringe or out into taking a risk. And that's great. It's showing you opening up to more people, being willing to stand by your own truth and speak your truth to other people, even if they're doubtful. It is also showing that the whole field is green. The house is green. The scarf is green, green everywhere. Why? Green's a symbol of renewal of wellness. Green's a symbol of expansion of growth. This is a great time. For you to be stronger as yourself in the world and to show up and be present for other people regardless of their emotions or their thoughts or their doubts and it shows that those don't even affect you look you're still happy in the card you're still flowing with that green dress and they are just sitting there <laughs> listening intently the last thing about the gossip card is really it's a play on the word gossip. It's really go and sip, go and sip, go sip on what? Oh, on the spiritual green heart chakra light on this identity of a spiritual being having a human experience. So it's showing more and more you are tilted towards the spiritual nature, less towards the self centered or selfish or ego nature less towards emotions and thoughts, more towards that quiet center of growing, evolving wellness that we are as spiritual beings having human experiences. Let's take another card. So we know that other people are talking about the good things that we're doing. We know that we're on the radar for other people's positive affirmations. So know this in your heart mind. That way, when you go into situations, you already have that inner intention that other people are looking for the good in you. Then you're going to have that as a reflection back. They're going to start seeing more and more as you go through the world, this ordinary world, you're going to feel more and more of those beautiful flowers. So you can see she has come out further from her house into the field and way over the ridge. And now she is in the world with her white shirt, and her blue jeans. What does that mean? That means that we are white as snow in a way. We have purified and cleaned out. We've been through something that we've gotten past. We've come over the hill of it. And now we are able to gather up with our basket all of the beautiful, colorful experiences, all of the gemstones, all of the flowers, the bright spots of what we've been through. <clears throat> This is great news. We're able to do that because we're wearing our blue throat chakra jeans and we're walking in them. What's that mean? That means we're walking in our words. We are walking our truth. We're living our truth. Nobody can prevent us because look, we're the only one in the card. What does that mean? That means that <clears throat> we are 
in a reality where we are the only spiritual consciousness, the only spiritual observer. You know this. There's only one inner you that your whole personal life revolves around. You're the only authority there. So you get to choose by setting your intentions what it is that is happening, what things mean, and what to expect. And by setting yourself up with the best intentions, the highest good ones, then you're going to see that as the flowers that are growing in your personal experiences. So you'll see coworkers, you'll see family members just looking at you in a different way. They'll be looking at you in an esteemable way, in a brighter way, in an awe and wonder way. You'll have these brighter experiences. You'll pick up on all the little nuances of their body language and of just the things that they're saying. And you'll notice that more and more they are building you up or celebrating you. This is beautiful. It's a wonderful new meadow, a spring, spring forward. You're, the hardest part, you're over the ridge of that, and that's good news. Let's take another card and see what we're going to see. It's coming from the Surrender deck. Ooh, what's it going to be? Now, hopefully you're watching all of these cards because they all fit together. Sometimes you can take the cards separately and think about a little more detailed what they might mean, but it's good to watch the whole reading all the way through so you get the full grasp for your highest good. So, surrender to the Spirit, <laughs> which is what we've been seeing here. It started off where we see you really getting more tilted towards your spiritual identity, coming out, taking the risks on your spiritual heart, walking your truth over the ridge in your green field, picking those beautiful flowers because look at that. The rainbow of colors or the white light of the spiritual growth is what is all shining on your land, meaning that your personal life, your personal circumstances, your interactions, your relationships, all of them, they're all different colors of the white light of that joy, yellow, joy light, facets of the diamond of spiritual growth. So know that this is just a great season that you're entering into. It's a great position to be in, sipping on that light, knowing that that God source universe is always there, knowing that your world as a spirit and as a self are combined now, and that you can move more effortlessly, easy, smoothly in this world you can expect more and more to have an experience that is just relaxing, inspiring, empowering, and calm. Calm, clear, and intuitive. Let's take another card. The card that comes up now is the self-mastery card. Perfect! Isn't that nice? And that is really what we have finally done. We have integrated our star-like spiritual identity our mystical abstract world of anything is possible with this down to earth, joyful, practical person in the world, this ordinary person and this spiritual being have, whoa, combined together. I can't even hold the cards. It's so beautiful. The ordinary person and the spiritual being have become one. And this is that beautiful selfie of those two that have become one. Now you know the truth and the truth will set you free. The truth of who you are in the world and in the spiritual dimension. Thank you for being who you are and for persevering in spite of what other people say about you. Ooh, what other people believe or don't believe. Ooh, and for all the little journeys you've made all alone on your own in areas where nobody else would go, the risks you've taken, the ideas you've believed in, the skills and ability you've trained for. You have done it. You've made it to this place where you finally have self-mastery. Now use your unique self to do wonderful new things in the world. No one will do it exactly like you. You're 100% self-worth, just like everyone else, but you can do you. It's a beautiful place to be. Surrender to the spirit, continue to go forward. You'll get that inspired variety of light moving through you in ways that are unbelievably beautiful. Take care, that's your reading. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know how this hits you. Pull down the notification bell and set your intention that you'll be led to other video spiritual messages on my channel. There's over 380 of them. Go ahead and watch through some of the ones that you're drawn to. I'm here to help foster your spiritual growth 
as a spiritual friend. Take care. Thank you. Goodbye.